Ladies and gentlemen, this is an experimental record. It's an experimental for me, and I hope it be experimental for you. There's always been a mystery about the drum. The, the drum, the, the drum, the drum, the drum, the, the drum, the drum. The drum, 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 the There's DJs that will rock a party, and then and there's DJs who can really cut well. But what we try to do with the Future Primitive is bring those worlds together. The party rocker, the guy who collects deep breaks, the producer-minded individual, people who are like in there digging nonstop. That's the backbone, like in a jazz band. That's the drummer. And then you have the soloist, the turntablist, the, the scratcher, taking you on those abstractions. I've always thought that anything that flows, you can find parallels to and merge. The exciting thing about hip hop is it was already doing that originally, you know, the four elements, break dancing, DJing, graffiti, and MCing. They're trying to marry a lot of different styles and a lot of different flows. Like with Doge, he paints behind it. That, that same fluidity in the way he paints and what's happening in the mix, there's definitely a parallel there. When I'm painting to a DJ in a club, the DJ talks to me, I talk to the audience. Hip hop is the lifeblood of my work, and turntablism is the next step, and it and it coincides with the audiovisual package of Future Primitive. The DJ gets the the b-boys going, you know what I'm saying, the breaks and whatnot. They've always been the architects, the foundation of of the dance, the art, the MC. They're the conductors. They're the ones who lead you to where you want to go. Rhythm is really important. It's like a, if you want to reach that spiritual kind of medium in, in your soul, it's like, it's like the Indians when they, when they wanted to speak to the gods and stuff, uh, they would have like a, a rain dances and that would be with the drums, you know, and af after a while the drums just get hypnotic and stuff and just, they, they go into a trance and so music is trance inducing, like hypnotic, gets you in that spiritual state. Nirvana, you know, you just totally just, you just all into it, you know, you're just, you just, you're just getting the whole, it's like you're not, you're not playing the instrument, it's like you're the instrument and the universe is playing you. It's some kung fu stuff, I don't know, it's just, you're just in there and you're, you don't feel it, you're just flowing, nothing can stop you. You know, when you're standing at a turntable 
and you sit there and you watch it turn and you think about what you're going to do with that turntable to freak people out. It's a heavy thing, man. It's something that you got to really interact with that turntable, watching it spin, looking at it time after time after time. And it's very obvious that this brother has been indoors for a long time, many hours. I know, because I used to do the same thing. And to see somebody take something to the next level and pass that baton, then he deserves that right to use that name. The Grand Mix of Cuba. Now it's time for our wrap-up.